Hello YouTube and welcome to our 16th unit tutorial and in this one we are going to give our enemies more of a realistic um, character thing. So as you can, so far we have our game, yeah, for if you follow the series and we can turn around when it loads da, 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 da. there we go, we can turn we, we can poorly animation which doesn't work properly but if you look, if we fire at the enemy it's one shot kill Oh, well, look, he's decided to work today. Uh, okay, then. Well, he doesn't die, but yeah, the other one dies. So, we have everything. So, let's give them more health so um, Shang Tsung doesn't take, like, I don't know, one shot kill. Because uh, the only game I can think that does that is Mario when you have the turtles or something, but still. Um, so, yeah, what we can do is, like, make it so when you hit him, he, like, plays a hurt sound, then he loses a point. We, we don't know this until we keep hitting him and hitting him and hitting him, then he just dies. So that's, it's an easy fix. So first, we want a hurt sound. So I did some researching and um, googled ouch sound and found this one, which has got loads of them in. I think they're all male though, I don't think there's any female and I've just lost the one I was going for. Damn it. There. So I found the one I wanted, it's this one. Um, I think it sounds like Shang Tsung from the old games. So, yeah. Um, you can download this by right-clicking the MP3, this one. I can tell because these are the seconds, so you don't really want one like that one, which is so many. But, like, I've chosen one that's one second, which is this one. But if you right-click the big button and click Save Link Cards, you can download and save it in. I've already done this in two hours, so if we go to... There we have Shang Tsung Hit. Um, I renamed it to that. There it is. Um, as you can see, it ends there and carries on. But what we'll do is the audio dot stop. We'll just cancel that out, which we'll put in the code. So first, we want it to be 3D sound. Yes. This time, yes, because um, the sound won't be following our character. It'll be following him. So we want it to be 3D sound. So if we far away and we hit him, we'll just hear it. But if we up close and hit him, we'll hear it. So we'll keep that on that for a moment. And let's go to our scripts folder and open up our enemy collisions. So as you can see, basically it says, when the fireball or Hadouken hits him, destroy the fireball slash Hadouken, destroy the projectile, we'll say that, and then destroy the game object. That's his life. However, if we make a new variable and call it enemy life, um, and it doesn't matter what you call that, I just like to put capitals there. Colon, and we will give him at the moment 5 health. That's default health for everyone. Semicolon, so that's it. So we copy that, yeah. And go into our function update. Tab it, and if we type if, open bracket, enemy life equals equals. In fact, no, it's less than 1. So less than 1 is 0, so 0 means death then we will copy this one destroy game object which destroys the enemy and paste it in there so if his enemy life is more than one less than one which is zero then he dies and it destroys it yes however um, here it will still destroy it first time so what we need to do is take out this one and put in enemy capital life minus equals one so that basically does is the enemy life every time he's hit by the fireball, it will get the total, which is the equals, and then minus it by the one we specify, which is one. So simple enough, copy it, paste it again. That's it. We've just done a second life. Um, if you wanted to show it on the screen, that would be a bit more advanced, but we'll be doing our health system soon, and uh, we'll show how to do that in it as well. So we could also attach this to a text box what follows the enemy or something. Simple enough. So now what I need to do is attach the audio to it. So if we go back to our Unity project and go to our movement now, play a fire. As you can see, for those who don't know, there's the fire sound, audio dot stop, audio play one shot, blah blah blah. All good. So what we'll do is create another variable, var. Um, enemy hit and it'll be an audio clip like so I really hope that's right um, so if we go back to if his life's more less than one we don't want it to play there because it'll just keep playing it and playing and playing it as you know so if we paste it in here in theory if 
from what I'm thinking. I'm not too good with audio. It should just work. So if we type audio dot capital S start, all good. Yeah. Um, if the reason we put these brackets here is basically it means if we put one in there, it'll stop that specific audio. But we want it to stop all audio coming from the character because like we don't want him to be saying Hadouken or whatever the enemy is going to say and. Um, ouch at the same time because you won't fire a fireball when you've been hit so yeah and then we will tap audio dot play one shot basically means play it once open brackets and we'll place the enemy hit in semicolon that's it now every time it's hit paste that in the bottom one every time it's hit it should play that sound and yep so go over to our enemies and that shang Tsung has already got it attached as you we got an error five it doesn't like oh no Go rid of the semicolon, place an equals. I've been yes. It's only for transforms and game objects and other stuff. So there we go. All done. So it's default life five, in which we can customize on each character. And then the enemy hit, we will need the uh, Shang Tsung hit. Um, we'll change that later. However, let's add a little bonus in and stick it on death stroke at the same time. So go to enemy collisions, drag it on. As you can see, it's still there. However, Deathstroke isn't as powerful as Shang Tsung because, well, Deathstroke is now boss. So if we put two, so two, sh well, no, that's a bit obvious, three shots. Don't forget later in the game he's going to be firing at you, so you're going to be ducking around and everything. Drag the Shang health on. But as you can see, we've changed that, so surely it'll change everything. No, only on that character. That's the good thing about it. So we can like use this one script for about a million characters and all have them all different health and you wouldn't know. Well, kinda, of, yeah. So, um however we do have a problem. It plays the audio but it's got no audio um source. So we need to place this on both, so if we select both, component, audio, audio source, both got audio source, click on one hey. Did it Oh, I didn't know that. It's trying to rename it. Oh well. Go to audio source, untick play on a wait because no one's to play as soon as it on. Shang Tsung hit here and this is 3D sound. Good. And same with Deathstroke, untick and play some. That should be it. So We are really gonna have to turn that file. We're gonna have to go into Order City one time and then turn that down. Also, I'm going to tell you why the animation messes up in a minute because I did some a lot of research and a lot of people found out why. But if we hit him now, he flies away. Oi, come back. Again. He doesn't want to be. Okay, it's not working. Hmm. Why not? I'll tell you what, let's do go to our thing and type in here. Um, print... If we type in print, open the bracket and type in enemy life, every time he's hit, he will um, display it at the bottom, his life. So, come on, there we go. Hit him and it should display it at the bottom. Four, three, two, one. Kill him! And uh, we got him, I think. So now if we go back to Deathstroke, shoot him, he should die. Okay, he, he needs a box slider, but as you can see, it kind of works, except the sound doesn't want to work. So, that, I, that is unknown why. Um, I've tapped it right. Oh, well, I'm guessing that's my computer messing up at the moment. But, um, yeah, we need to add a... Box Collider to Deathstroke because he doesn't have one. So what we'll do is go to him, double click, and there he is. Add a Box Collider. Um, oh damn. Yes. I'm not thinking today. Right, so we'll mess with the Box Collider, make it fit. So the size, Y. Yep. And what's it like on the side? Yes, that's good enough. So now if we go up and hit him, he should take health. And then eventually die. One, two, three. And dead. It works. So, do it to him if we push him against the wall this time. 
Oh, come on, stop bouncing away. There we go, dead. We have now have enemies with health, and imagine him shooting you and stuff. But um, I'm going to stop it right here, figure out why it's not playing the audio, which it should be. Because if you look, if we go back to this and play, it should play it. Anyway, BRB. Alright YouTube, so I'm back and I've figured out why it is something wrong with the 3D sound. So if we go back here where it says 3D sound, apparently it doesn't like that for some strange reason. So we'll just go back and hit him. Oh come on, you're not getting away this time. Die! Oh no, he jumped away. He's lucky. Um, we will have to stop him flying away like that, but that's not hard. These again. Hey, and we could add a death sound so when they're dead, we can like ah or something. Yes, and we got him. There we go. So um, that's that done. To stop him flying away, we're going to test something by sticking his rigid body with gravity. So he should stay on the floor. We hit him, and he should stay on the floor and not float away or even move away. So. There we go. Oh. He's somewhat attracted to us. Okay then, never mind. We can say it's part of the game for now. Um, our games are expected to have a lot of bugs in them because we've only just started. Die on, you're not going away again. Got him, yes. Right, so, um, yeah, so that's the enemy's health. Stop clicking. And what we can do is take out the print enemy life. There. That's it. That's it. We can hit him with both fireballs. They will both work. And you hit him. Ow, ow, ow. Dead. All good. So now, the animation. We are not going to actually do this because the, it is actual an actual bug in Unity. Well, bug slash tool mishap. It's like weird. So if we like click on our character. Um, go to back to walking. It loads, come on, oh, we've got to go through this. Um, hips, left leg. Right, if we scroll out, as you can see, look at these purple and yellow lines. Yeah, these indicate what here. So the blue one is the RZ rotation, Y is the yellow, X is the pink, blah blah blah. However, if you look at our actual animation, it ends here. Right on 4.5 seconds, 4.50 seconds, so that. However, the blue animation keeps going, so does all the others. They keep going and going and going. And there is actually no way to crop this or get rid of it. Uh, that's it. So to do it, we'll have to do it again, which I will not do, so I'm personally going to have to look back on my own tutorial to be able to do this. So if you've made the same mistake as that, and the way you do it is like get grab this cursor red thing, you drag it up and drag it up and drag it up and drag. if you watch the blue and yellow lines they don't increase there you go and problem is you can go can't go back you can't you can't delete them or add keys and delete them it's just not happening so yeah so that's an unfortunate mishap that's one of the big reasons I use um, proper animation software such as 3ds max because well, you can crap on that. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to redo. So, if you didn't do it and your animation works perfectly fine, clap to you for not making a mistake. The student's te teaching the teacher now. But, yeah. So, um, in the next tutorial, we are going to get them to fire at us because it has to be done. Um, yeah. So, um, that's about it. So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All the links will be in the description. And enjoy. Goodbye.